just going for a pheasant hunt. Jory on the back. Jim's gonna be holding the gun most of the time. I'll be working royal, and if there's a real solid point, I'll get to shoot, but otherwise I'm just along for the fun. So right off the get-go, she gets out, gets birdie, and bam, locks up, solid on point. I was getting excited. It was a little weird because the wind was coming at an angle off of the field, and so I guess there could have been birds out there. Odds are they would have flushed if they were sitting in that wide open stubble field with us walking right there. So thought maybe she caught wind in the cone further up in the grass. But you can see she keeps looking out to the field there. But now she's a little sidetracked with Jim. Um, Jim looked around in there for a while and nothing. So I sent her on. We went out, started working around the edge of that cover there. Coming up alongside this field, I shut the camera off. And just as soon as I shut the camera off, bam, she whips around on point again. And so I, I get up to her and Jim's walking up. Right on the edge, Jim. Whoa. And Jim flushed up the covey of partridge. Unfortunately, there was really high winds and those birds were going really fast. And so he wasn't able to get either of them. It wasn't until we got to the truck afterwards and I got to thinking about the wind direction and the location of the first point. It was surprising to me that we didn't find a bird there because Royal locked up on a super hard point. Just how sure she was on that point, I thought there has to be a bird around here, but we just couldn't find it. And so when we got back to the truck, I looked at the maps, looked where we flushed those birds, and then drew a line to where she went on that first point. And when me and Jim got looking at that line, that's the exact wind direction. That's crazy. Honestly, one of the highlights of my bird season, having my dog walk up on point on birds at 160 yards away. That is a long ways, but it makes sense. She was in line with the wind. You guys let me know your thoughts on that. After we got to about halfway, we were working back with the wind on our backs, which is never ideal. It's always a lot harder on the dog, as many of you well no. She thought she smelt something, whipped around, but instantly she was unsure of it, started getting closer to check, and then there was nothing. Up here she did flush a sharp tail. I didn't get it on camera, but she came from upwind side of it and it wild flushed. Again, struggles of working with the wind instead of into it. But overall, it's been a pretty great season. I'm really proud of Royal and how far she's come. These wild birds have taught her a lot. And hopefully we can get out on a couple more partridge here before things end. But I hope you all had a good season too. I always look forward to seeing everyone's pictures with their dogs. Thanks guys for watching.